So, you want to know how I got here? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my story. It all started like this. I just finished feeding the hogs when the power went out. And that happens from time to time out here in the country. I tried calling the electric company, but the lines were dead. Now, I didn't think too much of it at the time. Later that day, I noticed a stranger in my yard. Something wasn't right with him. The way he was just standing there. I went out to see what he wanted.
I killed the strangers. It was them or me. The poor devils looked like they fell in a septic tank and festered for a few days. I'd never killed no one before, so I sure was real spooked. I decided to head over to my neighbors across the cornfield. I just didn't feel safe hanging around here all by myself.
my neighbors were dead. I didn't know what the heck was going on, and I was scared to death. Reports of violence are coming in from neighboring states. We're unsure at this moment what to make of the situation. The governor is telling everyone to stay in their homes and has issued a... Uh, one moment, folks. Something has just come across my desk. I'm getting reports that the... I'm having trouble reading this bulletin, but I've been told this has been confirmed by official sources. It appears that the dead are coming back to life and eating the flesh of the living. This is unbelievable news we're hearing. Uh, I, for one, am truly shocked. For those of you tuning in, this is not a joke. Something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. I did what the man on the TV said and stayed on the farm as long as I could. I got by okay, but those corpses kept coming. The shortwave radio said that the military had some safe houses set up in the city. I was running low on supplies and starting to go crazy all by myself. I had nothing to lose. The city looked like a war zone. Roads everywhere were blocked. I didn't know where to go until I noticed a flicking light in the hospital up ahead. Someone was signaling SOS. I wasn't gonna let a few blocked roads stop me from getting to another living person. I'd go on foot.
The doctor was on the intercom. He had locked himself in a security room. I had to find him.
The doctor had come for supplies a few days ago. The men he was with were murdered by those living dead. Once the killing started, he locked himself in this room. It kept him safe, but now he couldn't get out. The doctor said that if I went to the basement, I could open the door by flicking an electrical switch down there. First, I needed his pass card to get into the basement. He buzzed me into the offices so I could fetch it.
whole hospital was burning down. I needed to grab the doctor and get out of there. Explosions rocked the hospital. No time to think. I just had to save myself.
I made it out of the hospital. But I still wasn't safe. There was a police station nearby. I figured I could get me some serious firepower there.
His name was Otis. He said the police station was a safe house until it got overrun a couple of days ago, but he wouldn't tell me why they locked him up. Criminal or not, I couldn't just leave him there. I had to find a key to his cell. Hey man, you gotta get me out of here. Don't just stand there, go find that key.
Otis was sure glad to be free, but what would we do now? The radio said there was a safe house in an old theater nearby. We could go there, but the city streets were too dangerous to travel on foot. There were too many of those mindless walkers out there. My new friend Otis had a plan. Otis had an 18-wheeler cab in the impound lot. He would get it and pick me up, and then we'd make for the theater. My job was to cover him from the roof. First, I needed a rifle with a scope, and I was in the right place to find one. 